Welcome back to Freedom in the Word. I am Minister Lonnie Harris. And I am Minister Sherry Knotts. And Minister Sherry, we're going to kind of wrap up uh, our segments on prayer, the last few episodes that we've had. And this episode, we want to label and title uh, The Power of Prayer. Wow. Because I think what's most important after we talk about and discuss, you know, prayer mm -hmm. is look at some figures in the Bible to really discuss, you know, certain circumstances that they were in, uh, problems and predicaments that they faced, and how they called upon God and how God responded. You know, I think a lot of times that if we can look at those things, we can take them to yeah. heart and put ourselves yeah. in those same situations and scenarios. One of the first things I, I, I like to talk about is uh, King Jehoshaphat mm -hmm. in Second Chronicles, the 20th chapter, and the circumstance that he found himself in. Mm -hmm. Tell, what do you know about that scripture, Minister Sherry? Take your time. Well, I know that he um, went to God as humble as he could mm -hmm. in distress, though, because he had gotten word that these three nations were coming up. Not one, not two, but three. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, one nation, you can kind of get them by yourself. <laughs> Correct. Two, y'all might make it through a little bloody nose, and, you know. But three of them, yeah. that's talking about maybe wiping us out. Yes. And so Jehoshaphat went to God and was like, you know, we're surrounded on every side. You know, we are we are distressed. Mm -hmm. um, he said, but we're not perplexed. Mm -hmm. But he said, but our eyes are on you. Mm. So because he knew where his help was coming from. Correct. He knew that that was the only, only way he was going to make it through. Correct. Was with God. And, and if I'm not mistaken, God fixed it and then people turned on, them, on themselves. Yeah. And a lot of people don't realize that's what God will do to your enemies. You know, to the person that I'm ministering to because I've been there. The person that I'm ministering to that's watching this and they, and they ganging up on you at your job. People mm. talking to each other don't even like each other. <laughs> What they have in common is you. You, you correct. Hating but, you. <laughs> and, but, but, but see, I've, I've gone through that. Yeah. And what I know is the fact that they didn't like each other, that ultimately prevailed. Mm. And then everything else just dismantled because I went to God. And that this very scripture popped out at me one day when I was going through some, some very painful things. And I, I, I had to keep, as he said, but our eyes are on you. Jehoshaphat called a fast. Yes. Yes. Those people got together, they fasted, and they didn't even have to fight. Yeah, correct. And don't you know God will do that? Yes, yes. You do all this prep work. Yeah. He per plan and how yeah. you gonna respond, yeah. what you gonna do, what you you got you sit in your car made up in your mind, what you what gonna you, say when you get in there. And if they say <laughs> You've already you already created your own narrative everything. on how it's everything. gonna play out. You the judge, jury, and the excuse. And that's correct. But God, God, God yeah. brought the people through, yeah. and they didn't even have to. We said that's the kind of God we serve. That's what prayer will do. And as you said so eloquently, consistent prayer. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what consistent prayer will do is take away the worry. Mm -hmm. God doesn't want us to worry. You know, there's a saying: to trust is not to to worry, and to worry is not to trust. Okay. And so if we can keep that straight, and that's not in the Bible. Okay, it's the same. It's the same. Correct. But <laughs> it's the same thing. If we're going to trust God, we ought not worry. If we're going to worry, just don't even bother with taking it to him. Correct, correct. Yeah, yeah I, I, I love that story of Jehoshaphat. Mm. Uh, I mean, it's just a powerful display of the power of prayer. And trust in God. Yeah. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a truly powerful Ooh. display. I mean, like you said, a lot of times we're faced with circumstances and mm. situations and we just don't know what to do. You don't know what and, to and do. And it's in those times that really, you know, Jehoshaphat didn't call some, call his homeboy. He didn't call exactly. He didn't he didn't read it, read his horoscope. No. He, didn't, he he all, only thing he knew to do was call on God. You know, and that, that's God. where he was. You know, a lot of times that's what we have to be. As you as you're talking to those that you may be ministering to right now uh, that may be watching. You know, that's really the first his first response. His first response was say, "Hey, look, I'm calling on God." Yeah, and that's okay, really what y'all think. That, that's got to be our response when when trouble arises. Um, that's got to be, that should be, that should be our first, first response. response. Absolutely. One of the next people that I loved about the power of prayer was Hannah, mm -hmm. you know, and Hannah, I, what I liked about Hannah mm -hmm. is before we get into all that took place is that the word tells us that she was praying as, like, as though no words no were words. coming out. It was, it was that painful. Yes. Oh, yeah, they got real. To yeah. It. <laughs> what she was going through because she was being picked on it. For those that know the story of Hannah, First Samuel, the second chapter, she was without a, a, a she wanted a, a, a son. Yeah. She wanted a son. And and the, the other person had a son, mm -hmm. uh, Paniah. I can't remember that person's name. 
Something like that. Uh, but they, they and, and so they were mocking Hannah. Mm -hmm. They were ridiculing Hannah. Mm -hmm. You know, they were laughing at Hannah because yeah. she was without a son. She was without a son. Doing what it took to get a son. Correct. But not getting the blessing, not re not reaping the blessing. And, and her husband even said, you know, well, aren't I better than you <laughs> than 10 sons? You know? Yeah. And it's still, even though I, I imagine that that was supposed to be salve mm -hmm. for her womb, it did nothing for no. that desire of no. her heart. No, And the fact that, you know, the Bible don't say it, but I know Hannah had to say at some point, God can do anything. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been there? No. Yeah. Well, you've been praying and this prayer been asked, and you go, God, you can do anything. Why won't you hear this? Why won't you answer this prayer? Correct, correct, correct. So Hannah, I mean, she just, the Bible talks about how she was in, in the temple and praying and, and, and how it was though her, her, her mouth was moving, but, but no, were no words. So I can't even imagine, mm -hmm. I can't even imagine the depth of pain. I, I, absolutely that words weren't, weren't even being vocalized. She was just, yeah. and the know, priest said she was drunk. They, they thought it was something wrong with the woman. Well, she had some words in, didn't they, they, they thought it was something wrong with yeah. the woman. But we ultimately, what I saw, what I liked about that is that how God responds. You know, even when we're in pain, you know, God sees that pain. Mm -hmm. God knows how we feel mm -hmm. when we can't even vocalize. We can't even mm -hmm. verbalize mm -hmm. what we're going through. We can't even verbalize how we feel. We can't even verbalize our emotions, our pain our thoughts around whatever it may be that we're carrying to God. And we see God responded to that prayer. And God blessed Hannah with the son. He gave an example of what she asked. Absolutely. He, he took did. her at her word. He did. Yeah. He did. What about uh, uh, another scripture, Minister Sherry, is uh, the prayer of Jonah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And the Bible talks about how Jonah was how Jonah prayed from of inside of the fish. You know, he, he, after, after Jonah had gone his own way. Blatantly. Yeah. Oh, oh Absolutely. On his own accord, on his own, own will. Yeah. You find the scripture in Jonah, the second chapter, mm -hmm. how Jonah went his own way, was yeah. disobedient to God, found himself in a place that he did not want to be. Had to pay a fare to get there. He, See, he, a lot of people miss that. Wow. Had to pay for it. Had to pay to get there. Yeah. He paid the price. Yes, he? he did. Yeah. Twice. <laughs> he paid in, in money. And he paid by being in that way. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But, but the, then when he called upon God. Yes. Yes. He said, in my distress, mm -hmm. I called to the Lord, mm -hmm. and he answered and me. And he answered. From deep in the realm of the dead, I called for help, and you listened to my cry. Yep. There's somebody out there right now. now. There's somebody right now. That's right. That's in the depths of yep. whatever they're in going that through. Belly. Absolutely. About to get swallowed. Up. Absolutely. You feel like there's nowhere to go but die. Mm -hmm. You feel like there's nothing to do where you are but to die, you but to give up. God. Jonah called on God yes, from that very predicament, mm -hmm. and God allowed him to live. And the whale spit him out. That that fish, that whale spit him out of there. Sick on the stomach. And, and and Jonah got quickly about God's business. Yes, he did. Yes, <laughs> quickly. He did. Look, I don't, you don't have to do that to me no more. You ever had it? Something like God, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm doing it right now. Absolutely. Yeah. Before that, I can even get out of what I'm in, I'm gonna go ahead on and do what God told me to do. What I like about that scripture, Mister Sherry, is God. The, the word says. And God spoke to Jonah a second time. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> you know? uh, no, no, I, I heard. I, I got it. I, I didn't have time to think about it. Jonah said, I, I got it this yeah. time. I, I, you know, I didn't have time to think about it. <laughs> he said, say, say, I, I might have missed it the first yeah, time. But, but you speaking the second time, I got it now. Matter of fact, I done wrote my speech out to these people. <laughs> Correct. And so I, I just think about, I look at that and, and look at the mercy of God. Oh, my goodness. As we pray to God, oh God is so merciful. He does God not. God is so mm. merciful. He's so forgiving. Yes. He gives us another opportunity. Yes. Even when we mess up the first, second, third, fourth, yeah. a 100th time. God, give me another chance. I won't mess it up. We messed that one up. Absolutely. God, give me another chance. Absolutely. But that's our Father. It is. That is His it unconditional is. love it for is. us. It is. It is. That we can't pay for. Like, correct. Come on now. Correct. We can't beat Him. Yeah. So, so, so I, I love the, the powerful response to Jonah's prayer and how God responded. The final one that Minister Sherry I had was coming from uh, Matthew, the 14th chapter. Where mm -hmm. We talked about Peter and how Peter was walking on the water. On the water. Walking on the water. Mm -hmm. My challenge to everyone today is I dare you to go, go out to your nearest body of water. And, go, and try walking on it. Yeah, See how that work. See getting, how that worked out for you. Okay. <laughs> but the Bible says that Peter was walking <laughs> on the water, coming to Jesus. To Jesus. Absolutely. Yeah. He said he got distracted. Yep. He said he saw, saw the winds and the waves. He got distracted. Mm -hmm. He began to sink. 
And he, he, he prayed what I believe for me is just a powerful prayer. He didn't have time, Minister Sherry. He didn't have time to form his words and be so eloquent with mm -hmm. his speech. He didn't have time to get his thoughts together, to kneel, to bow, to lay prostrate. No. All of those different prayer postures that we I talked need about. You to hit me now. He said, Lord, save me. Right now. That's it. Uh, you see me? I'm sinking. <laughs> That's it. Now that I get out of this boat. <laughs> Look, and you know the other side was happening. I think the same thing. I said this. I always feel the same way. So look at that fool. He, he, had, yeah. <laughs> so he, had, that he fool. wasn't content with seeing Jesus from the boat. He had to get out. There you that, go. That's that what you get. That's what you get. That what you you want to cut people and stuff. That's what you get. <laughs> but guess what? But. It, but guess what, Mrs. Sherry? What happened? Even, even, and, and that's what happens to us sometimes. Yes. We find ourselves yes. in predicaments and situations that we ask to be in. Then we ask? People are laughing at us. You wanted to get on out there and now look at you. They got the kick me side on you. <laughs> <laughs> they, they trying to kick you while you're down. Yeah. Instead yeah. of reaching out and trying to help you oh, up. Oh, yeah. But those are the times that you can't, you realize you can't call on your friends. Peter Cho didn't call on none of them, no, none of them folks in the boat. Y'all, throw me a life raft. He didn't he call on none of them. He said, Lord, save me. Lord, save me. And, and that's what I think is just so powerful. He realized in that moment that God is here with me. Mm -hmm. Jesus is here with me. Mm -hmm. I've got to call on him, and mm -hmm. he can, he's able to save me. See, he knew where his help comes from. Absolutely. You know, and see, when you've been through something, you realize where your help comes mm -hmm. from. And you oh, don't yeah. mind. I don't, you can be in a room full of people. <laughs> Jesus, I need you. I need you. We were at my church in uh, Raleigh mm -hmm. that I used to go to. We had a wanna for the kids, and they had gone to the competition. Okay. And there was a, it was a child now. A child was uh, struggling with remembering the scripture because oh, we want to wow. teach them all kinds of scripture. That, that little boy said, Lord, help me. Mm. Lord, help me. In front of the whole assembly. Yes. He was unashamed. But see, that's what a wanna is. Approved workmen are not ashamed. Okay. And he, he knew that he didn't have to be ashamed to call upon the name of the Lord. And that's what he did, and God helped him. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And so ultimately, Minister Sherry, as we're talking about the power of prayer, you know, I know we can all certainly speak from our own personal standpoints. We all have our own testimonies. But I think it's a, a lot of times good to just, you know, uh, look at the, the, the individuals in the, in the Bible, mm -hmm. look at their prayers and how God responded to their prayers um, and, and just see how God just moves on their behalf. Oh, oh, one problem. Does God hear sinner prayers? Do you? That is a, let me tell you this, Come on. that question is Come on. so important. And here's my, here's always been my response to that question. Hmm. I've been a sinner. Come on. I've prayed. Huh. And God has answered my Come prayer. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> so I can't hmm. speak for any other sinner. Hmm. I'll speak for myself. Yes. Now, here's the question. Was God answering my prayer? Was he answering my mama's prayer? Come Was on. he answering someone Come else's on. prayer? It does not matter. He answered. He answered prayer. And then the other thing of it is, if we're saying that God sees and hears everything, oh, yeah. that, does that not solve that dilemma? And, and the Bible tells us that God <laughs> reigns on the just as and well the as the unjust. So yeah. we can't we can't you can't make ourselves to be so high. Uh, than, than someone that 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 is not uh, maybe in fellowship with God. Right. God has no respect of person. That's right. You know, God does not play favorites. That's right. You know, so and, and I mean that's just what I believe. And so with that being said, I truly believe that sinners can pray and do pray and uh -huh. will pray, and God will hear and respond God. to their prayer. So what are your closing thoughts, Minister Sherry, regarding not just this episode but the entire series regarding prayer? My closing remarks on prayer is keep praying. Mm -hmm. Keep fasting, keep believing, keep seeking God. And as you pointed out in one of the episodes, pray the word of God. Mm. Because the word is not going to change, yeah. right? Yeah. The grass fades, the flower withers. Mm. But the word of God is going to remain. And so we know that that's our power source. That's Correct. our help. Correct. And God's word, guess what? It ain't going to change. Correct. Mm -hmm. It's not going to change yeah. just because it's not popular today. It's not going to change. It's something that we can stand on in all types of weather. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think those are excellent uh, closing thoughts, and I, I won't add anything to those other than what I've said through the, the rest of these episodes. It's just let's get back to prayer um, as a body. Let's get back to prayer as individuals, you know, and just calling on the name of the God for whatever it is that we're going through, no matter how great, no matter how small. Ladies and gentlemen, we uh, petition you to like, comment, and share uh, our Freedom in the Word. We ask that you would let us know your questions, your thoughts, those things that you're struggling with. We're very honored and very thankful for the questions and things that we get. In the meantime, I am Minister Sherry Knox. I'm Minister Lonnie Harris. And we'll be talking to you soon. God bless you.